Hi, now it is the time for us to understand M of MVC. That is nothing but model. Now, before we go for model, let us see a simple app that I have developed for department table. I have department ID, department name, and HOD. And I'm trying to insert data into this table by using our old get method. So for that, I have a controller form and in this index, I'm generating a form. So I'll just right click and say, go to view. Now my form is very simple, uh, which belongs to the controller home and the action is insert and I'm using get method. And here I have department name, a text box and HOD, another text box and I said submit. As soon as I say submit, it is going to jump to this action. As department ID is auto generated, I don't require it. Now, once it goes to this action, let us see, um, reading both the parameters as it is a get type. And you have department name and HOD as the name attributes for this text box and I'm reading the same here and I'm using my old ADO.NET connected architecture to insert data into the table department. So I have my connection string in web.config file. So here is my connection string and I am reading it from configuration manager that is same and I have SQL connection object that is on and these classes are present in the namespaces system.configuration and system.data.sql connection. I have added these two namespaces and process is old creating connection object then command the command is insert into the table connection adding the parameters opening the connection, executing and closing, that's it. Now, once the record get inserted, I am redirecting it to the same index action. Save this and let me execute this. So here I get the form and say the department is library and HOD is JP. Now I'll simply submit this. The record got submitted and it has redirected to the same index action. Let us have a cross check. So here is the department. So this is my normal procedure what I used to do earlier. Just to make model simple I'm using old ADO.NET connected architecture. So till now we have seen various methods of passing data from view to controller that is parameterized method and context object. And we have seen various methods of passing data from controller to view that is nothing but view data and view back. And from one controller to another controller that is nothing but your temp data. And if you want to carry data throughout the application, you can use your old session objects. Now your model defines a standard way of communication between your view and controller and one controller to another controller and controller to back to the view. So what is that I can do? I can use models for passing data from view to the controller and from controller back to the view so i need not to worry about two various methods even though all the methods that we learned earlier may be used for supporting but our major communication will happen over model now what is model model is nothing but a class which consists of properties for each column of your database that is normal like I have department ID, department name and HOD. So I'll create a class called as department. 
right click on models and I'll say add a class and I'll name it as the EPT. I'll say add. Now I get the class. Now I'll add properties. I have already with me. Now if you observe, I have one property for one column. So this is a relation and this is the object. You can say object relation model or ORM object relation mapping. So already we saw this concept in entity framework. So anyway, I am creating these things manually here. So I have a table, I have created its replica in the class department. Now I'll save this. I'll go to the index. Here, I'll define a model for this page. As I know that in this page, I'm using department name and HOD. So both of them belongs to the class department. So I'll just say at model, make sure uh, your M should be small small case and I'll say department let us resolve this give the complete name or full name that is model example dot models dot department so I have defined a model to this view or I have binded a model to this view now wherever I have a text box I'll be using text box for and instead of giving department name, I can simply use lambda expression. I can use x any variable gives rise to x dot. I should see all the properties of that class department name. In the same way, text box for x gives rise to x dot. HOD. Now I'll go to the controller. Here, instead of reading two different variables, I'll just read the object of department. Again, this department is present in the namespace model example dot models. So I'll get that namespace here and here I'll simply say d dot even here I'll simply say d dot so it is the job of a controller to convert all the parameters that we are passing from here to equivalent object of department oh, that's it I'll save this and execute it it should work in the same sense so department name is training and HOD Manzoor the trainer and I'll say submit let's look into the department table refresh this so here you go that's it this is very simple so model is nothing but a class which consists of properties and it is used to carry the data from view to the controller and again from controller back to the view for example I'll just create an object of department D equals to new department. I'll say department name is equals to training. HOD is equals to Manzoor the trainer.
now say this is the data i have that is d now i want to pass this to this index and what i want department name should be displayed in the text box department and hod name should be displayed in the text box hod so what is that i need to do i need to simply pass d as parameter to this view that's it so this is the object of department so it maps here and it will read all the values from that object and display it in the text boxes so now once i execute this i should have training and mundu the trainer as a default values for the text boxes that's it here you have training and mundu the trainer so we have seen how easy it is for us to carry the data from controller to view and view to the controller in a standard format that is nothing but models and we definitely use all our old techniques as supporting say for example as we have inserted the record i want to display a message then i'll definitely use my old temp data for it so that i can carry a message or a data from one controller to another controller and do remember that if you are using entity framework these models are created automatically for you you need not to create these models explicitly that's it for this video thank you very much